Welcome to a lesson on Lowndes' method of apportionment. William Lowndes was a congressman from South Carolina, a small state, who proposed a method of apportionment that was more favorable to smaller states. Unlike the methods of Hamilton, Jefferson, and Webster, Lowndes' method was never used to apportion Congress. Lowndes believed that an additional representative was much more valuable to a small state than to a large one. If a state already has 20 or 30 representatives, getting one more doesn't matter very much. But if it only has two or three, one more is a big deal. He felt that the additional representatives should go where they could make the most difference. Like Hamilton's method, Lowndes' method follows the quota rule. In fact, it arrives at the same quotas as Hamilton and the rest, and like Hamilton and Jefferson, it drops the decimal part. But in deciding where the remaining representatives should go, we divide the decimal part of each state's quota by the whole number part, so that the same decimal part with a smaller whole number is worth more because it matters more to that state. So there are four steps to applying Lowndes' method. Number one, determine how many people each representative should represent. Do this by dividing the total population of all the states by the total number of representatives. This answer is called the standard divisor or just a divisor. Two, divide each state's population by the divisor to determine how many representatives it should have. We record this answer to several decimal places and this is called the quota. Three, we cut off all the decimal parts of the quotas and add up the whole numbers. This is often called the initial allocation or the lower quotas. And then four, assuming that the total from step three was less than the total number of representatives, we divide the decimal part of each state's quota by the whole number part. And then we assign the remaining representatives, one each, to the states whose ratio of the decimal part to the whole number part were largest until the desired total is reached. So let's take a look at an example. The legislature in the state has 35 seats. Apportion these seats to the five counties below using Lowndes' method. So again, the first step is to find the standard divisor or divisor. So we sum all the populations, which we can see here, is 1,133,000. And we divide this by the number of seats available, which is 35 giving us our standard divisor, which we see here. So now to find the quotas, we take each state population and divide by the standard divisor. Now this has already been done here, but let's go ahead and check at least the first one. So to find the quota for Adams, we would take 208,000 and divide by 32,371 .4286. giving us our quota of approximately 6.425. We would do the same for the remaining four counties. And now to find the initial allocation, often called the lower quota, we will remove the decimal part of each quota, which gives us 6, 13, 5, 6, and 3. Notice how the initial allocation, or the lower quota, gives a total of 33 seats when we have a total of 35 to apportion. So now, to decide who gets the extra seats, we divide the decimal part of the quota by the whole number part. So looking at Adams, we would take 0.425 and divide by 6. For Grant, we would take 0.654 and divide by 13, and so on. Notice I've already set this up here. Let's go and check a few of these quotients. For Adams, we would have 0.425 divided by 6 which gives us approximately 0 0.071. For Grant, we would have 0.654 divided by 13, which is approximately 0 0.050, and so on. You may want to go ahead and check these yourself. And because we have two extra seats, we're looking for the two largest ratios. Notice Hayes has the largest ratio, so they'll receive one extra seat. The next largest decimal is Davis at 0 .081. So these two counties would receive one extra seat each, which we see here. 
So our final allocation would be six for Adams, 13 for Grant, five for Colton, seven for Davis, and four for Hayes. Notice the final allocation does apportion all 35 seats. And this is how Lowndes' method works. I hope you found this helpful.